The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Dear Media IRL is back, and we're showing up bigger, better, and louder than ever. Join us on May 4th in Austin, Texas, for the ultimate live podcasting experience. Watch and learn from your favorite Dear Media hosts as they bring their insightful discussions from your headphones to the stage. Get ready to be inspired, entertained, and watch audio get a makeover. Tickets are on sale now at dearmedia.com slash IRL. See you on May 4th in Austin. In Texas. Does anyone actually know what's going on here? I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever. Today's episode is going to be a really good one Mm -hmm. because I know nothing about the topic at hand. Truly, the topic is marriage. Weddings, in fact, be more specific. Mm -hmm. Wedding season is approaching soon, and I feel like as ladies of our current age, lots of people are getting married. There's a lot of weddings happening. Mm-hmm. I feel like I haven't been invited to this many weddings in my life mm-hmm. than yeah. right now. I know we're Agreed. like at that age where it's just like weddings, weddings, weddings. And I'm yes. like, oh my God, everyone's getting married. And everybody like, you know, they have the bachelorette parties or yep. the, the the engagement parties. There's yep. a lot of gift situation. There's traveling. And yep. we just want to know what's the etiquette? What is supposed to be happening? What are the rules here? Yeah, today we're going over all of the wedding culture and yes. like all the things underneath umbrelling yeah. i'm like how like, do i yeah. all, all things, things wedding, wedding. There we yes, go. yes 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 so we will be looking to our resident uh married woman on the couch here and uh if you guys know anything have something to say please drop it in the comments below because like i said the weddings are among us yes. we need answers please help help us <laughs> i have some hot takes about weddings oh, I'm, so I'm so excited ready. and wedding culture too mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i'm like I'm just excited to get into this. Also because, I mean, it's been seven and a half years since I got married. Oh, my gosh. Which is crazy. I got married in 2017. So I am kind of like, right? That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like I'm kind of removed enough from like current wedding culture. Like, right. It was very different Mm -hmm. in 2017. Oh, yeah. It's not something that I have talked much about recently Mm, because it's so removed from me. But now I'm in the stage of being in so many weddings. I was going say, to I feel so like many. you've been in you, like last year especially. Yeah. Mm. It was like wedding every other month. Yeah, last year I was in three weddings. Oh my gosh. One of which was my brother. Right. So that yeah. was like I was super a big involved. One. Right. That's a big one was my cousin. Mm-hmm. So right. but yeah, I feel like wedding weddings are fun. Mm-hmm. I are. love weddings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, weddings are a good time. I love weddings. Ceremony's great because I get to look at everybody's looks and I'm like, oh, everyone's stunning. Love to see it. We're going to cry a little bit. Awesome. Now we're going to go drink and dance all night and that's all I want to do. I know. So yeah. fun. Dude, oh. and I live for that moment of just like looking at the husband when he sees the bride show yes. up. Like I live for that moment. Like, and just seeing the purest love and seeing the families come together is like so beautiful. I love that shit. Yeah. Dude, I went to my, it was my first gay wedding that I went to and I was like, this is something different. Like, yes, the straight weddings are beautiful. Everyone love is love is love. But a gay wedding? Really? Top tier. Better. Really? Simply so much better. Elaborate. I mean, it's a party from the moment we start. Like, it's like, and everybody looks so slate. Like, oh. Stop. I lied. Just stunning. Everybody looks good. And it's just also because... We just got here with them even being able to get married. Tea. So it's just like you can just feel like the accomplishment and just like the joy and, and the, like, yeah, it's just so, so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, wedding. I need more. I just remembered. I, I absolutely lied. And I went to one and I remember being like, wow, the music at this wedding was actually top tier. So you're right. That part. And I do really think that. Uh, the music at a wedding carries it. Like that's 100%. the vibe, yes. babe. If you yep. have poor selection or the DJ's doing something wrong, I'm sorry, that kid cost you the party. Absolutely. So, yeah. but before we get into the whole like the party party, right? We should talk like the I feel engagement, like the lead yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, the lead up. Yes. Mm-hmm. I like fully understand wanting to celebrate so many parts of a wedding because I mean, 
I was going to say, because you only do it once in theory. Right. right, you right. Only, when you're doing it, you're thinking, I'm only going to do this once. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> right. The goal. Yeah. Right. The goal. <laughs> and I think it's a wonderful thing to celebrate. And so I am pro, like, celebrate all the things. If you want to have an engagement party, if you want to have a bridal brunch and then a bridal shower and then bring right. everyone dress shopping with you, like, absolutely do it all. Yeah. If you want to do the destination bachelorette party, like, sure. Like, do all the things. But there needs to be an understanding and an expectation mm-hmm. yep. that this is not as big of a deal for everyone around you as it is for you. Mm-hmm. Right. And everyone else may not be able to move around their entire schedules and finances to make this happen. Right. right? So do the destination bachelorette party, but understand that people might say no. And right. don't be upset about it. Right. Because right. it's not a reflection of, oh, they don't want to. No, it's like, no, girl, it's like, you're asking me to go to Tahiti like, in like right, three yeah. months. And also pay for the dress to go to the wedding, to go to the wedding. Like there's yeah, layers. Yeah, there's layers. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my hot takes is I feel like wedding culture, especially bachelorette stuff, has mm-hmm. gotten really out of touch. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I got married, I had heard of people doing a destination bachelorette, mm-hmm. but that was not something that ever like cross my mind or anyone that I knew right. had done. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. And now I feel like it's the norm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely feels definitely. like the norm. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. It's like, oh, so where's it going to be? Yeah. 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 Yes. yes. And so where are we going? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. We did like a spa night at my friend's mother-in-law's house. Mm-hmm. Super fun, girl time. And then that night we went out in San Diego. Fun. And that felt big. Right. right. Like that felt like a big deal. Right. And now it's like, if again, if you're not flying somewhere, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That being said, if you want to do it, do it. But right. understand. That mm-hmm. not everybody's going to be able to do the thing. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Like, my friend Shannon got married last year, and she really wanted to do a destination bachelorette to Nashville. She made it super clear to everyone, don't feel any pressure if you can't afford this, if you don't have the time. Like, zero, zero pressure. And I wanted to go. And I was right. able to go. Yeah. Right. But I also didn't feel like I had to. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I feel like if they if you treat it more like this is just like a girl's vacation, mm-hmm. I feel like also takes away the pressure for like the people that they're asking to go. It's like this is my bachelorette. Like this is my last like because like there's a little bit of that, too, where you're like, this is my last like girls night before. Like we're going to do the whole thing. And you're like, for sure. But it, we don't have to do it like so far away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Italy. <laughs> like <laughs> In Italy. Right. Yeah. And also like. What if the wedding is also a destination? Like, yeah, what are we doing? I know, and and like we said, there's more than that party. Like, there is right the very first one. So, like, right after you get engaged is like the engagement party, right? Mm-hmm. So, if you're if that friend is like out of town, you can't make it. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh dang, I can't. So, engagement party, and then then you separate to the bachelor, right? The bachelor, 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 bachelor mm-hmm, party. Okay, mm-hmm. and is there? another bridal shower there's another yeah, one there's right? like the shower because that's, shower. that's like everybody like grandma like everybody yes. can come okay to that. so the bridal yeah. shower is more focused for like parents grandparents not really like the friends because that's like i feel like that's like mostly it's kind of like baby shower vibes like for gifts it is because mm-hmm. i also also i think i feel like i know what you're thinking okay yeah that idea of bringing the gifts and the stuff for the home is like also the assumption that you guys don't live together so you're gonna get married and go move into a place and you need all this shit like toasters and whatever the fuck but if you've been living together for five years yeah you probably already have your toaster toaster and your blender blender. exactly Um, the matching wine glasses you know all the shit that (laughs) that people buy So when Stephen and I got married, we'd been living together for, I think, three or four years. Mm. So we had everything. But also when we had moved in together, we were in college. So everything was from Dollar Tree. Mm. So it was a nice opportunity to to upgrade. And and we, you know, now we have and we still have all the stuff from the registry for the wedding. So we have the spice rack and the dish set. And it's nice. But also, exactly. It is like. Especially as you get older, Mm -hmm. if you're established, if you've been in your career for a while, if you've been living with your partner, like, you kind of already have the stuff. It's Mm. not, like... And honestly, I feel like it just kind of changed with the times. Like we're all like still doing the bri- the the bridal shower stuff, but a lot of people live with their partners now. Yeah, right. right. Like it's not like oh, and then we're and then we're gonna have the wedding, and then we're gonna move in together. Like I'm sure, obviously, people still do that. Yeah, but 
in this economy, we are and already this, lived in together. In this economy, oh, I, yeah. yeah. Two words, right. I love you, let's move in. Thank God. Because. Right. So <laughs> at the engagement party, you're not taking gifts. That's just literally celebrating, oh my That's, God. Oh my God, yeah. look Maybe at a way. card. Take a picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so happy and for you. And then do you take a party uh, or a present to the bachelorette or the bachelor party? No, because usually you're paying for so many things. Okay. Right. Why? So usually the bride isn't buying her drinks. Right. You know, if you get a hotel, sometimes the bride might pay for that. But usually they split up it's that like, price amongst the people attending. The, okay. the, the party, right? Yes. Like the bridal party. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it might be like a formal thing, right? Where they're like, everyone is going to send an extra, you know, $100 or whatever, and that'll cover the bride stuff. Mm. Or it might be like just throughout the night, people are like, I want to buy you a drink. I want to buy right. you a drink. Right. Right. But I would say, yeah, usually not, you're not bringing a present unless sometimes they'll do things like a lingerie shower. Right. Oh, that's fun. I that's love fun. that. That's fun. I never heard of that. That's yeah. so fun. I do love that. At my cousin's, they made it a game. Everyone had to bring a piece of lingerie wrapped with no name on it. And she had to guess who all of them were from. I, I love, love that. that. So, of course, I found like the raunchiest, like, backless panties I could right. find. <laughs> right. You're like, they're crotchless <laughs> yeah. panties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was joking that I wanted to go to like Spencer's and find one with like a tail on it or something. <laughs> I'm screaming. Just to be like, wonder who got you that. Oh, yeah. Right. I love that. Did anybody that's give fun. her one that's like made out of candy or something like that? You know, like those little oh, yeah, like, undies like the gummy made out of ones. Yeah. There yeah. was good variety. Okay, good. I love that. Good. that. But yeah, I think for the Bachelorette, it's less of like, I'm giving you something and more of like we're sharing this experience. Right. But right. that can oftentimes, especially now, like we were saying, be way more expensive than getting a nice shower gift. Right. right. Is that, I don't know if I'm just making this up in my head, but is also like the bachelorette party or maybe it's not the party, but like being in the bridal party, like does the bride give a gift? Yes. Usually on the wedding day or at the rehearsal the day before. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. The bride gives a gift to who? The, bri the party. Because party. Oh. you just did all this shit. Yeah. You I got, guess. I, I don't know. know. That's let why. Me, let me literally there's be so many presents. There's so many. And sometimes they'll do a basket or there's like a asking you to be in the bridal party gift too. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. So le let me just say this. This is my very first time being in a wedding upcoming. And I just got asked while I was in Japan. Like that was my very, very first time. And she was like, like there was a little card and everything. And I was like, oh my God. And then now I'm like, holy shit, I don't know anything. And right. I need to like know my duties and what's necessary. Right. So I'm really glad we're going over all this with Sierra because there's gifts and other gifts and I even had the thought of like getting her something that says like bride or something yeah. on it but she was like honestly she's like very like been in so many weddings and she's like I've learned now that it's just like honestly gets tossed away like because it it's for so short of a time right. that I could wear the like uh fiance or whatever the heck right, and I was like right, right. I like didn't think of that so she's right. like so no just do something else or whatever yeah. like, okay, okay, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. and like you're real for that yeah yeah, yeah yes yes for real yeah i guess yeah to give a rundown then for p and for those who have not been in many weddings or have not been married i feel like the rundown kind of is and and these things can get condensed or expanded upon depending on how long the engagement is gotcha. and right. how big okay, the budget you. right right <laughs> proposal proposal engagement party mm -hmm. which sometimes happens sometimes not and then if you invite someone to the engagement party or if you are invited to the engagement party, they have to be invited to the wedding. Like, that's a big faux pas. Oh. If you invite someone to an engagement party, like, so come celebrate our engagement with us. There's an expectation that the wedding you invite. get an invitation for got the wedding. It. Correct, okay. but of yeah. course because I mean, when you're here celebrating, sense. we got married, and then I don't invite you to the main party. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah no. okay, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, okay. heard it. Engagement party afterwards because usually the engagement party is shortly after the proposal, so you might right. not have a date yet, or you might, but you're right. you know starting the wedding planning. If it's a long engagement, save the date is sent out. Right. Again, if you send a save the date. You got to send the invitation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like For sure. If you're telling them to save the date, consider it saved. Right. And no RSVP is needed for a save the date. Right. Okay. That right. is just saying, hey, we're going to be getting married. We want to give you a heads up so you can Which, by plan the way, your I didn't life. even realize that like save the date and the wedding invitation, they're two separate things. They are. Yes. Didn't yes. know that but until if, recently. If you're <laughs> having a shorter engagement, you wouldn't do a save the date. Like, okay. Right, 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 My right. little brother's engagement was like six months. And mm. so they didn't do an engagement party. They didn't do a save the date. Gotcha. Right. They were like, just come to the wedding. Group. Right. <laughs> yeah. See you in six months. For, for my friend, she ha is like, uh, has so much time because the venues have been so booked up because of obviously like right. all this time and everyone's trying to get married. So her venue wasn't available till 2025. So we have all of like 2024 she got, to like She got prep. engaged in 2023. 
93? Yeah, no, she, yes, she did. Oh my God, yes. Right. Literally just at the late end of it because then mm -hmm. I got asked in Japan, which was during New Year's mm -hmm. and then now we're in 2024. So it's like all the planning yeah. and um, then the wedding not till the next year, which I was like, yeah. that's so interesting too because I guess I just never thought like, I just- The timeline. The timelines, yeah. yeah. like it really is so much time in between all the stuff. So anyway, sorry yeah. to add. No, no, no tea though. <laughs> and then after the save the date- Usually the next big thing is dress shopping. So if you're mm. in the bridal party, you may be asked to come. Or if you're like a close family member, you mm -hmm. might be asked to come. Because you have to order your wedding dress like minimum usually like eight months before the wedding. Eight months before the wedding. Okay. Usually. Yeah. Wow. Probably. And, and that's from when I got engaged. Right. So probably even more now. Probably. Oh, yeah. No that... wonder girlies are like, I tried my dress on. I can't move. Like I. Yeah. There are some girls that are yeah. like, I have to lose more weight, which I don't. I'm like, didn't you already try on the dress? Like, wouldn't that be poor for or they actually actually I think I've even heard like experiences where they like try to like get a dress that's a little bit tight so they can right. then work their way there, which is such. That's so yeah. tough. That's, that's like a common thing, which is crazy that because it is so far in advance and there is very much this pressure of like. I need to look, look my best. Mm -hmm. I need to lose weight before my wedding mm -hmm. the, of people buying it in advance and going, but I'm going to lose weight. So I'm going to order it like a size down, which like, that oh, is like you're Deleu punishing also. yourself also. Like, Get it in your size. Yeah. If you have to alter Take it, it in, babe. Yeah. 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 Girl. I know. But to, like to order it in a size smaller to not even be able to fit it. You're not starting off it fitting. Rip, you. You're like, rip, I yeah. have got I'm to work. Over it. And then in your mind, you're like, I've got to fit into this dress because guess what? You do literally have to fit into and, that dress. And then girl. what happens if you can't? heartbreak and right. why are yeah. we doing now why are we doing that this is already a stressful I know situation. that sounds so stressful I the layers there's so many layers to this mm. thing which I why mm -hmm. I feel like there's so much like shenanigans with like family and friends happen well, yeah well we hadn't even gotten there but yeah there's a whole thing to be said about how people will make your wedding about them absolutely that's true mm. well all right yeah, let's lo wrap we'll logistics let's wrap logistics okay <laughs> yes okay then I would say there's like probably a little bit of a gap. And then when you get to mm. a couple months before, there's a bridal shower. Right. Which typically is not something you're throwing yourself. Usually it's a family member or your bridal party. It's oftentimes like a group effort. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Like whenever I've been in a bridal party or close to the bride, I've been like part of the, plan. the planning. It doesn't the usually fall on like one person. Gotcha. gotcha. And that that's very much like bring a gift girly girly vibes you play some Love games mm -hmm. okay you know mm -hmm. and then uh um, sorry is yeah. this everybody comes or if it's like if this is like a heterosexual marriage is it like is this a the the girl thing I'd or say what is it's the tea? in in a heterosexual marriage in a traditional arrangement typically women only mm. i see and i would say it's interesting because like baby showers used to be that way right and i feel like now most baby showers are co-ed they're yes. all co-ed yeah. yeah. because we're celebrating yeah the you know the couple the parents the family right. right but i think for weddings it's still very much like the bride Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm with that. Because there's no like shower for the d the guy, right? No. It's just bridal. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Yep. And then uh, anywhere from like a week before to like a couple months before is usually the bachelor and bachelorette party, mm -hmm. which are typically separate. But right. sometimes people will do joint ones. Or um, like when Steven's best friend got married, it was cute. They did it in the same town, but two different parties. And then they met them up at midnight for a kiss. Oh, That's I love so that. Cute. Right. That's I love fun. that. I love that. Cute in theory, but he was pretty oh, wasted. Uh, wasted at that point. And right. she was like, We're not doing this. I actually oh, do not want to meet him. That's you. so she funny. She She's like, I'm going to get the ick. Like, yeah. Nope. Nope. Have fun. I'm so happy for you. I'll see you tomorrow. She's like, I'm still not married yet. Yeah. You know, we're not. <laughs> yeah, that's, totally. <laughs> that's funny. Which is funny because, like, the whole night they planned around that. Like, it's going to be beautiful. And right. then they were like, mm -mm. No, it, it is not beautiful. <laughs> The sentiment was there, but we didn't make it. Jimmy's yes. in the back like, yeah, another whiskey. Yeah. Like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then uh, typically the day before is a rehearsal. So the whole bridal right. party, mm -hmm. anyone who's walking down the aisle, the officiant goes to oftentimes the venue. Sometimes it might be somewhere else. Mm. And you walk through what's going to happen. And like parents are there, I feel like. Parents, too, yes, because yeah. they usually walk down walk the aisle. Down. Right, right, right. Okay, Grandparents. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they'll walk through. Um, usually there'll be like a venue coordinator there who's mm. like, and this will happen and then this will happen and then you're going to do this. And oh my goodness. Usually walk through it two or three times. Um, yeah. Not me putting my hand up. No, please. <laughs> but Share with the class. <laughs> is it tea that the bride doesn't actually do the walk, like walk? 
like they like walk like someone stands in because they don't like actually do the walk thing is that tea i feel like i've seen that not in any wedding i've been in really like, did you see yeah. it in a movie that the no, bride doesn't I, actually honestly, i think my cousin did that mm. maybe she wanted the to save the moment oh maybe because everybody was like somebody like stood in for her so she just like watched and did a thing and was oh. like okay i know what to do when i'm gonna do it that's tomorrow. so funny because me during uh blocking i'd be like all right so this is when i walk in it, <laughs> right. it's yeah. totally blocking it literally is that's blocking. what it is okay yeah um, it's a literally rehearsal yeah. yeah yeah and like when i did my rehearsal the main thing i remember is my dad being like you are not prepared for how slow i'm gonna make us walk like i get to do this once I've been looking forward to this my whole life. We are savoring this moment. If you oh. watch the video, we are walking so slow. <laughs> and we started like way back before people can see us. It's not like we walked up to the front and then we walked slow the oh. entire time. Yeah. And he kept looking over at me like. Oh. And so at the rehearsal, he was like, we were going so slow. I was like laughing. And right. I'm like, come on, dad. Right. Pick up the pace. I've got places to be. Right. right. Stevens to kiss. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, my gosh. And the rehearsal's fun. And then usually you do a rehearsal dinner, which is typically mm -hmm. hosted by the groom's parents in a traditional arrangement. Because if typically, right, the bride's parents are hosting the wedding. Right. That's a thing for the groom's family to plan. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, and typically that would be bridal party and possibly like out of town guests. So mm. if you have family members or mm. friends who are coming in out of town, you might invite them to, to that. that. Right. Yeah. A lot of the times at the rehearsal dinner, there's speeches, especially if you're not having a lot of speeches at the wedding. At mine, we did kind of an open mic, which was fun because everyone mm. there was people that I like loved and and knew me so well and mm -hmm. knew Steven so well. So it was fun to, you know, give people a chance to yeah. talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then it's wedding day. Right. And then it's the wedding day and everyone starts running around with their head chopped off. I know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've heard a lot of, I mean, brides and grooms of people that got married that were like, yeah, I don't really remember like any of it. Uh, yeah. Well, see, are you like, already I being in a wedding? What can you like, do you think you like blacked out at some times and you're just like, it was so crazy busy. I don't even remember. Or do you really feel like you were present and you remember every moment? My favorite thing that we did is during our wedding, during, throughout the whole day, well, from when we saw each other, we had decided that we wanted to just every now and then step away, look out at everything and be like, like, let's take it in for a second because yeah. it goes by so fast. Right. And it was cool. Our officiant had us like do that in the wedding. Like take a minute, like look out at everyone, like take all these faces in. Oh, I'd cry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I could. I'd be like, nope, nope. Yeah. <laughs> and then we did that again multiple times throughout like the dinner, the reception, the dancing, like Aww. we would just step out and like look. Yeah. Those are the moments I remember most because the rest of it is such a blur. Yeah. And I'm so glad we did that. And it's interesting. I, I remember having this thought on my wedding day. There's really two times in your life, in your existence, that everyone comes together for you. And that's typically a wedding and a funeral. Yeah. And you're only alive for one of them. Right. Ooh. Unless you're Ryan's grandma who's throwing her funeral when she's alive. Which Period. I love. You know what? Yeah. She's on to something. And she <laughs> is. She is. Right? Yeah. The next time that everyone, everyone mm -hmm. gathers together in, you know, honor mm -hmm. of, of you and something that you're doing will be <laughs> you dying. Right. Yeah. And this is the only time you get to be part of it. Right. Yeah. And I thought that was really beautiful and that really made me want to soak it in and not only enjoy that special moment with S Steven and that day, but having all of our family and friends around. Mm, mm -hmm. It's really special. That's so beautiful. That's so poetic. Beautiful. I know. Oh my gosh. And, and and it makes me, it honestly gets me thinking about how a lot of people say the weddings aren't really for the bride or for them. It's for the guests because you're really like mm -hmm. hosting a party and it always sometimes right. turns into that. But after hearing Sierra say that, you're like, right. And I'm going to try everything in my power to like really make it about that because you can mm -hmm. get caught up in like the logistics of the party and yeah. the whatever the thing. And you're like stressing about something that mm -hmm. like it's yeah. not even that big. Yeah, and that's like the advice I feel like I give to everyone mm -hmm. when they're getting married, like for their wedding day is mm -hmm. like, take it in, like find those moments where just the two of you can step back and be like, whoa, like yeah. we're here. We've been planning this, you know, for months or years. Yeah. Right. And also as hard as it is, especially for people who are like type A control freaks, don't get caught up in the details. Mm -hmm. Right. I had a couple moments in my wedding that I felt like I could have kind of succumbed to like getting stressed over details. Mm -hmm. And it was really Steven who was like, just right. move on. And I was like, yeah, right. you're right. Yeah. We had uh, the fl the the flower petals for the flower girls never showed up. Mm. And 
that's fine. We'll figure it out. They picked some off some of the roses. Right. right. That's fine. Don't right. stress about it. Right. The curls in my hair were falling. They weren't staying the way that they did in the trial. That's all right. It's okay. Yeah. It's, it's am I really going to let that affect my mindset on the day? Right. We were dancing and my, my dress kept ripping on the bottom because it was like floor length, even though I had the train up. And I remember like getting fr- like, this is my wedding dress. Like it's yeah. getting t- torn to shreds on the dance floor. Right. And Steven looked at me, he goes, you're really going to stop dancing because of that? And I was like, no, <laughs> you're right. Like, right. let's tear it up. And I literally, right. when he said that, I reached out and I ripped a big piece off. Mm. Period. And I was like, done. Yeah. Right. Yeah, let's go. And no, I'm so party. glad. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't care that my dress got, I'm never going to wear it again. Right. Well, you did. Well, I did. Yeah, and you're right. right in public. To Target. Oh, to Target. And Taco Bell. <laughs> and Taco Bell. And K1 Speed. And K1 Speed. Yeah, that's an old video. That's a deep cut. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, let's get into the nitty gritty, the juicy, the tea, the drama that happens. Let's talk about that because it's beautiful and like, yes, we're in love and it's a celebration. We're coming together. Like right. there, has there ever been a wedding without drama that wasn't like an elopement? You, Dude, No. No. I, I don't think that it exists. That's why the elopements exist. Right. To escape. Yeah. To escape the They're like, you know what? Drama. Just you and me, baby. We just, nobody can come. And that's usually what they say. Like, when you chat with people that elope, they're like, we just didn't want, and we just, uh, and it's smart. we wanted it, the yeah. two of us, and we cheap, and then we ended up going on a trip. And I'm like, and live, honestly, laugh, love. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, some people love doing that. And I'm like, T, they would rather just like explore the world or whatever. Like, because obviously ex- yeah. weddings are so expensive. So. Right. Yeah. Fair. What do you think topic is like really the one that gets like them going? It, like starts the drama. It does it start like at the guest list, like when you start figuring out mm. who's allowed to come. Like like when does the oh my god we're engaged now we have to start planning when the drama kicks in. I think when they have to start planning. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think and the, getting for real the guest list, and then it really turns up for the seating chart. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even right. think about the seating chart. Of course, I mean never why would I think about that? Seating but, chart. Yeah. <gasps> okay, so. What's our thoughts on children at weddings? That's a good question. I think that's a big one that I always find like people the are discourse like, did the around, discourse yeah. and I was like, hmm, what the heck? As For your a wedding, parent, yeah. fully understand and fully respect if you want to have a child-free wedding. I will get a sitter and right. I will come mm-hmm. and I will have a fun time. Right. But also if you want to make it a family affair and have the kids and, you know, have a kid's table with crayons and play the chicken dance so all the kids can go mm-hmm. nuts go for it. I will right. bring my kid and she will have a blast. Right. right. Um, so I respect it either way. I had kids at my wedding, but also there weren't a lot of kids in our family at the time. Okay. So it was like by having kids in at the wedding, it was like four kids were invited. Right. right. So it, it wasn't like I was paying so much money for kids to come. Right. Yeah. It was an easy thing to decide. Some families, when you have like, you know, 30, 40 young kids in the family and you're paying for all of them and it changes the vibe. And mm-hmm. also there is the conversation to have of Weddings are a, a lot of the times a drinking event. Right. Do you want to have your kids around that? Yeah. Is it appropriate? Right. Right. I was thinking about that too. I feel I feel like for me it will be a no kids wedding, but if there were kids, I feel like there just has to be like a curfew at some point too. Like mm. if you have like you're yeah, bring your kids, blah blah blah, but like past eight o'clock or whatever, like. The music is getting fucking crazy. We're taking shots and good luck to you and your kid, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I always remember like growing up and my mom would say, for your wedding, planning a wedding, I'm not even on the horizon, but for years, she'd always be like, Paloma, for your guest list, like I, it's no kids because it's not a piñata. It's not a birthday party. She says mm-hmm. that. She's like, because sometimes what ends up happening at these uh, weddings, especially in like a Mexico, is like they'll get like a bouncy house because there's just literally so many children that were like, right. we have to entertain, entertain them and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that's great because then they can be a part of it and stuff like that. But right. she's like, I really don't think that that's the time and place. Like she's like, it's something more it's just like a wedding is more I don't know and I'm like and I hear that and I totally see that and I think that for me what I would do is like this is not like no don't bring your kids but if there's like somebody in my family at a specific age or something like that I'd be like they can come if they're like the right how close are we like what are we doing a cousin or something I'd be like okay fine but I but no I don't want like five children or ten children running around at this black tie I'm hoping elegant wedding that I have with chandeliers (laughs) and that's the thing too sometimes people will do an age cut off right because there's a difference between a 16 year old at your wedding right and And like a three-year-old yeah oh my god yeah like when i say kid i really even mean like over eight like if you're 10 or 12 like if you're 12 how 12 year olds are like 
I mean, they're at Sephora. Facts. Okay, so, if you're old enough to go into Sephora, you can come to my wedding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. The seven year old Gen Z influence or Gen Gen Alpha influencers are like, we're in. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, that's a, yeah. Kids what is about, a big one. Yeah. Did you guys go to any weddings as kids? Yeah, I did. I did. And when I was in the, when I was actually like in the wedding. Yeah. yeah. If not, I was not invited to the oh. wedding. Oh, yeah. I went to weddings when I was a kid. Yeah. I mean, I was in my mom's wedding and I was the flower girl for that. And I mean, during the rehearsal, when we were like doing the thing, he was like pulling my hair and I was like crying and I, oh. and I, and it's like fine and whatever. But like, I remember my mom being like, can you just do the thing? And I'm like, no, right. But me now, like, yeah, that's probably so annoying. Like, yeah. can you guys just do something? Can you guys not do this right now? My mom's like, <laughs> getting I'm getting married tomorrow. And I'm like, you hate you pulling my hair. Like, just dumb sh- kid shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, that's a little different. Obviously, it was my mom. So I was Of course, gonna you're going to be there. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I, d- I mean, as a kid, I was like, I don't care about all this other stuff. Kiss so we can go. Like, yeah. so we can do the thing. Eat. Party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Sierra? Did you go growing up? I had only been to one wedding before mm. I was 20. Oh, really? Wow. I had been in my aunt's wedding when I was like four. Okay. And I didn't go to another wedding until I was either 19 or 20 and my cousin got married. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so there was a huge gap for that. And like, I remember parts of my aunt's wedding that I was in. But again, I remember just kind of being like, over it. It's like boring. It's yeah, long. like it was hot and I remember like sitting there and being like, when is this going to end? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, you know, did the kids want to go to the wedding? They like, don't do even they even know it. what's going yeah. on? Like, yeah. I feel like it's just, it's more of a hassle than it is like relevant. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, it, it also probably depends on the relationship that the kid has to the person getting married. Absolutely. Right. You know? Because right. honestly, respectfully, like to have a kid that I like, I'm not, clo- like I don't even really know. Like it's just like, I'd be I, like, Whoa. I also feel like now that I'm like here remembering these weddings, I'm like, there's also like a weird and maybe this is just my family because I'm just thinking about my family weddings, but there's also like a weird like pressure to like have like a ha ha cute moment to like take the pic, take the bride and the groom, take pictures with the kids mm. and like dance with them and like, whole, and it's like, yeah, but also do you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. even know how I'm like to explain this, but like, because it's like, oh, there's kids and like, I'm dressed in my like pretty dress and it's like, oh yeah, let's like take, it becomes that. And it's like, we don't need to like, yeah, yeah, actually do this. Mm-hmm. Like it's cute, obviously, but yeah, it's interesting too. Cause Grace was in. But my brothers got married back to back years. Mm. Mm. So Grace was in two weddings. Um, the first, my older brother's wedding, she had just turned one. Mm. And um, it was a, a child free wedding. So she was just there for the ceremony. She mm. was the flower girl. Mm. So I was like, okay. no kids were there except her. Yeah. So she came and then she, she le- Yep. And then oh. she left for the reception. See? And she didn't really know what was going on then. Right. So it was like, that I think was the best, best case scenario. Right. Mm-hmm. For my little brother's wedding, which was a year later, she was two. She fully understood what was going on. And it was a wedding with kids, so Mm -hmm, she stayed the mm -hmm, whole time. Right. Mm -hmm. She was so obsessed. But also, she's obsessed with my brother and his now wife. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, she is at that point where she fully understood for months leading up to it. When Ostie Bethy getting married? When Ostie Bethy getting married? Right, right. Right. She loved being with the girls getting ready. Bethany and her also have a really special relationship. So it was like, Bethany really wanted to have her there. Yeah. And like, it was really sweet and special. And then I was planning on like her going home during the reception. Steven's parents were going to watch her. And then she was having the time of her life. We brought like the noise ha- headphones for her because it's oh, so right. loud. Oh, right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. And she wore those the whole time in her little flower girl dress and was dancing with everyone. <laughs> and I kept trying to go out because I was like hot and sweaty. And she'd be like, mommy, go back in there. She said, you can't get me off this dance floor. Dance more. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And all of Austin's friends thought it was so fun. And, you know, we're like, Grace was in the middle of the dance circle. Yeah. She was dancing with Austin and Bethany. That, to me, felt like, okay, she has a special relationship with the bride and groom. They want her here. Right. They want her to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And she's having fun. Yeah. So you can stay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you as a guest and also a parent, like we're already planning on exit routes if it wasn't working out. Because also some people will bring their kids and kids are kids. If they're having a bad day, I'm not going to tell a toddler not to have a tantrum when they're in the middle of a meltdown. Right. 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 And same with I was at a, a wedding a couple of months ago. Um. And somebody brought their, like, newborn baby. It was a Catholic wedding. Mm -hmm. And 
it just screamed the entire very long ceremony. Yeah. Because right. it's a baby and it probably had to like pass gas or something. Right. Well, right. that's hard right. too because at that age, like if the mom's going to the wedding, the baby kind of has to come if you're breastfeeding right. that often. Yeah. 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 There's nothing, oh, but there's nothing worse than being at a wedding or something and it's quiet as fuck and there's just kids Ugh. crying and you're like, oh my, just, I know you want to sit and watch this, but nobody is sitting and watching. We're yeah. all just, you gotta go. Exit. I feel so I feel bad. so bad, but that, I'm like, what are we doing? That here? literally makes you like those moms on the plane where yeah. you're like, but, oh, but you they can't things. escape on the they, plane. Yeah, they, they can't, can't escape leave. at the yeah. wedding. But you can yeah. leave. And, yeah. and you should. Yeah. yeah. Take your kid and go outside. As a yeah. parent, I agree. Yeah. Like, that's like not appropriate. Well, it's yeah. like they're not having a good time. Maybe a walk outside will help. You're not having a good yeah. time. And anyone and who everyone has ears else feels bad for you and is yes. not having a good time. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I think, right, airplane, I mean, you can't walk out because you'll literally fall out of the sky. Right. right. But if you're in a church or a movie theater, Let's take like, a or any place that is supposed to be a little bit more quiet, a little bit more chill, and your kid's screaming, just go ahead and take a little step outside. Yep. That's okay. Yeah. If I wanted to scream, I'd take myself as I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Me, and I you do. <laughs> and, I, and I do. I'm going to need a moment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> In addition to guest lists, what do we think about with uh, dress attire and the requirements for that? Mm. Because sometimes you'll get an invitation where it's like black tie. So you're like, okay, we know what we're doing. The boys got to do suits. Girls right. got to do long dress. Right. But then sometimes it's kind of like, mm, oh. I feel like it depends on the venue. Okay. Right? Cuz yeah. if it's like an outside wedding, that's if it's a beach wedding, like are we in a church? And I want to ask this question, but also I know your answer, but please sure. try to be um Oh, chill. Open-minded for a oh. second because what are our thoughts with people wearing sandals or like not not heels, you know, like sandals to a wedding? Unless it's the beach. No. Okay. Correct. If you're getting married, I, and that's where I agree, I think the venue sets the tone. And you, if you're picking a venue, you can't have a dress code that doesn't match. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. If you're getting married on the beach, don't set it as black tie. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Honestly, if it's a beach wedding, it's kind of giving like. You can wear chocolate. Tell me about Oh, you could totally okay. great, wear chocolate. Or no yeah, shoes. Or no yeah. shoes. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys ever end up going on pin i always inevitably end up on pinterest with those like little infographic guides for the types of weddings because mm -hmm. a lot of them will be like in between it's not black tie but it's not casual mm -hmm. and right. i feel so lost and so it's me on pinterest trying to figure out exactly what the words they sent meant right. I feel and, like asking I feel all my that. girlfriends and stuff and like just hoping for the best right. yeah yeah i feel like i wish there were more details given for dress codes totally i agree i'm I like tell me exactly what to wear yeah, right. yeah 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 because then i'm like is this formal enough is this not enough or like what are we doing yeah because i'll do what you want just tell me yeah <laughs> and that's where i feel like ask the maid of honor or the mother of the bride don't ask the bride yeah yeah she's got so much going on Correct. we went to a, i went to a wedding with my parents and it was not at the beach it was like at a nice like church you know something and there was like two or three people with sandals and my mom was just like gooped <laughs> and in that moment was like add that to the list of the things that we're gonna not let people do at your wedding <laughs> And she was like, I will have literally someone at the front door. She's like coming in to a nice establishment and you're wearing chanclas, por favor. She was having such a time. So I was like, let me ask Dude. how serious this is. Your mom is going to be like security at the door when she you get married. Is. Literally. I'm so serious. Oh, good, good luck, luck to, to everybody. me. Yeah, I, and honestly, good, good luck, and good to, luck you. to you. Because if you listen, you will be a maid of honor and then she'll be like, Ryan, go get him. <laughs> I'm going to send your mom like an outfit approval picture before. <laughs> yeah. This is okay. Yeah, like, yeah. This is good. We got, we good. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, Oh my God. Yeah, dress code. But also, I mean, let's talk about that too, because I feel like now while we're in, we are in the season of a bunch of our people getting married, we got to get like outfits, dresses for all these weddings. And we're not trying to rewear a wear where it's not appropriate. Like, even if mm -hmm. it's, we want to rewear it, this could be a completely different yeah. vibe. Absolutely. So I will say, just... I rewear the same dress for almost every wedding I attend. Period. It's versatile. It's yeah. floor length. Is it the green one? It's the green one. <gasps> yep. And she looks so good in it. She Why does. wouldn't she? Why wouldn't exactly. I? Right. And it's comfortable and I can wear shorts underneath mm -hmm. and a real bra. And mm -hmm. if it's not appropriate for the wedding and I'm going to the rehearsal, I'm wearing it for the rehearsal. Also, right. like solid mm. brand Baltic Born. Because oh. after you wore that and I was like, it's stunning. I got two more, like one more casual, one floor length from Baltic Born. And I've just rotated them for every wedding. Yep. That's Dude. a good little hack Love or trick. Yeah. Yeah. Having like a wedding dress that could be applied to like multiple weddings. And maybe it's just the shoes that need to be switched out. Mm. And the jewelry. And the jewelry, yeah. yeah. Like how you wear and your the hair, hair or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pro be an outfit repeater. Weddings are already yeah. expensive. Agreed. 
I also love when you're a bridesmaid because you are always dressed exactly according to the dress code and you right. don't have to think about it. Bless. Right. Tell me exactly what to, in fact, send me the link to the dress. Right. <laughs> I will buy it right now. Literally. Uh, the wedding that I, I just got asked to be in, she has like an idea that the girls will be all, all wearing black, but she just wants us to have like our own vibe and stuff like that. And love I'm just that. like, Girl, if you literally tell me, she's like, I don't care. I'm like, if you told me buy this dress, I will literally buy it right now. I just want to make sure I am doing what I need to be doing because this is like responsibility, you know? Like, I want to ensure that we are doing our part in- And like doing what you want. And is what's necessary Mm -hmm. and like all this stuff. But it's been so great because she's been very like, these are my expectations. This is important to me, but this is not. She's like, because I know people can't do it all. Mm. So I just want to be like, this is important forget this yeah. and it's been so great so far oh my god i, I can't that. wait i That's know so great. i also feel like back to the outfit thing this is when like renting services <gasps> would be like really great yes yes like, you know what i'm saying like if i'm oh i know i have this wedding and like i want to wear a really nice dress but like i'm gonna wear it once mm-hmm renting it would you are be literally easy. so right because also with renting you can get more than like one option so what if you ordered got like three dresses and right. tried them all on and mm-hmm. see what the tea was mm-hmm. well yeah. they like, had them for like suits for forever yeah yeah right so it's nice to see like the dress otherwear game is catching up to speed definitely. Yeah. definitely oh i love that i've never even thought of renting for the wedding genius yeah i feel like i always like to lean towards being a little overdressed just because like I don't know I'd rather be one of the more dressed up people than arrive and be like oh my god I'm killing the vibe totally 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 but my biggest fear is like wearing something that's too white so I just don't Uh, oh yeah I don't want cream champagne the bridesmaids dresses for my cousin's wedding were champagne and I was like still like I'm like I literally know she chose this dress right, but right. so we're like is it too white yeah right, like, right. this is what she wanted yeah right. no white don't be that girl don't be close eggshell champagne did you guys see that Off-white? TikTok Stop of that. the the mother-in-law that wore white to the wedding a mother-in-law well you know how uh, they are you know sometimes how these why she are you know sometimes? how literally why she, she, because excuse me why would she do that Power play. Pa- mm-hmm. Yeah, that's making it kind of yep. about you because it's not like you don't know that rule. Yeah. No, we all know. You someone, just chose to not. Someone wore white to my wedding. Shut the fuck no. up. But Were you pissed? I wasn't pissed, but I was like, okay. uh, a choice. It wasn't bridal. It was a shorter dress and it was a younger person who maybe w- didn't like think about it. Gotcha. You know? So okay. I wasn't okay. like okay. offended. Right. right. If it had been like a floor length, like white dress would have felt differently. Right. But it was still kind of like, I thought we all knew this. Right. 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 We, but I also my dress wasn't white. Oh. Mine was like cream and had like almost a little bit of a pink to it. Oh. Um, so. Oh, still. Yeah. The but sentiment. still the, the law. sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing where I'm like, just don't wear white. Just don't even get close. Yeah. yeah. How do we yeah. feel about unconventional bridal apparel? Like brides in suits, brides in black, other colors that they love and want to enjoy. Love, love it. it. Love, love it, it all. Love it. Love it. Love it. I totally oh my do. God. My cousin kind of, wore a black wedding dress and it was fucking stunning. Hot. Love that. I know stunning. it gave. I know it, it gave. It totally gave. Of course it did. How do you guys feel about when a uh, bride set a color palette for the guests? Have you seen I that? I love that. I do. Yeah. I, I do. think the pictures just come out so nice because everybody's coordinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Especially it also gives me like more of a color to focus on too when mm-hmm. I'm shopping. I'll, yeah. That's also the tea too. Like it's easy. The only thing I guess I will say is if you don't have anything and you are going to the you wedding, then to, you have to get mm-hmm. something thing and like but that's why you make one of the colors like black Mm -hmm. yeah everybody has black that's where i feel like it's best if you want to do that i feel like the way to do it is to say if you're looking for what to wear we suggest Mm -hmm. this like don't Mm -hmm. require it yes Mm -hmm. when you require it it's like really right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what if your great grandma who's coming has one they she probably has one dress right Right. that she's gonna wear Mm -hmm. like just if you're looking, if you're looking for here's some what you could wear. Oh, I make like it a that. suggestion. Right, I like. I'm gonna that. make a mood board for my wedding, dude. Please, like I said, tell me exactly what to wear. I'm right, mood I want board inspo. And I'm gonna be like, this is the vibe, and we're gonna have a disco ball, and we're gonna have, like you said, chandelier is coming yep. down from the ceiling. So, get it together. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's that's one part of the drama, right? Is yeah. the dress code. Yeah. Right. What do you guys feel about people getting married on holidays? Because I know that's kind of a hot button topic too. I personally would never do that because this wedding is absolutely about to be about me mm-hmm. and i'm not sharing it with jesus with the easter bunny with ah, none ah, of ah. that it's about me that's also also don't propose to me on a holiday either bye i'm saying no and that's embarrassing for you 
Sorry. I completely agree. And all the only reason why I would think, okay, makes sense to do it on a holiday is because maybe that's when it's cheaper. Because I've heard mm-hmm. like sometimes where you're like, who would do a wedding on like a Sunday or like a, cause it's like tough because of the next day and you're like the price. Yeah. So maybe on that president's day, it was a BOGO deal and it was cheaper. <laughs> the cathedral was cheaper that day <laughs> on St. Patrick's day or whatever right, the hell. So right. it's like, guess what? We're doing car bombs. <laughs> Irish car <laughs> bombs. <laughs> car bombs. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's a good point. I got married on a Friday mm. and let me tell you i i think i remember exactly it was about twelve thousand dollars cheaper really Holy the shit. venue peak on a wednesday or a, a saturday Friday. or a sunday yeah. the venue was fully out of our budget for a saturday fully mm, right wow. so i had this venue that i loved we look at it fully out of my budget and i'm like huh, is there anything we can cut from this package right and they're like Oh, we have cheaper options for, and it got progressively cheaper because they did Wednesday through Sunday weddings. Gotcha. Mm. So they were like, if you want to get married on a Thursday, it'll be this much, or Friday, it'll be this much. And I was like, oh, right. right. And Friday, I'm like, okay, it's still no, it's the, the weekend. That's because the, the next day, Saturday, I don't have to go home. I don't have to leave the wedding early. Yeah. I would want to do my wedding on a Friday or a Saturday. Mm-hmm. I did feel bad, though, that our bridal party had to like take off Friday, mm. you know, oh. tea because for the morning yeah. and stuff. I see right. that. See? Yeah. But, 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 but you know, it. <laughs> Thousands of of dollars were saved. Yeah. When it comes to uh, holiday weddings, I think if that's like your dream, do it. But again, kind of like the bachelorette party, you have to understand that some people might not go. Oh, yeah, traveling. Yeah. Yeah. My one exception, love a New Year's Eve wedding. Really? Oh, my God. Okay. Let's talk about that. You get to dress up. It it better be black tie. Right. 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 You're dressed up. You're drinking for free. And it's it usually I feel like na- weddings typically end at like ten. Tea. It's going to midnight, right. right? And you're all count, and you have a whole party of people yes. counting down and like family. That's actually iconic, and I never thought of that. Yeah, I think New Year's Eve wedding like huge win. Oh, yeah. I'm- into it's giving that. a New Year's Eve party, but open but, bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's so cool! I, I would love to go that. to one of those. Yeah. yeah, my friend just went to one, and she said it was lit. But I didn't even think about like why. Yeah, <laughs> and then everyone's like, "Countdown, woo!" That's so cool. And then you get food. Yeah. After. Yeah, I love that. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Wait. I'm into that. I have to ask a question. Ryan brought up. Please do not propose to me on a holiday because I will say no. Oh yeah. What do we think about people proposing at your wedding? No, that's no. so fucking rude. You are the most selfish person ever. Bye. Don't do it. Don't. Why does that happen? I don't Why know. Why does that happen? Yep. Don't announce anything. It's not it's, about you. No. Why would you do that? Well, all the rest of the family's here. Uh, sorry. Uh, you're on a different day. I would be so mad. I'm sorry. I would be very, I'd be like, very upset. Yeah. Okay, well, turn the cameras around. I don't give a damn that they're getting yeah. like I the uh, announcing pregnancies, yep. proposing, all that shit. At my is wedding, I spent thousands of me. dollars here. Please, we right. can't and make just, it. And about you're so- just sliding in real quick for free. Like, let me just. Oh, and also, we having a baby. While, while everyone's here. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. No. Nope. Bye. Because while everyone's here, for the couple, right? Not for, for you. you. Yeah. Yeah. It, unless it was the couple's suggestion. Don't even bring it to the couple. Yeah. Yeah. If the couple yeah. was like. I know you're thinking of proposing. How fun would it be if you did it at our reception? Sure. Gotcha. Right. Right. I completely agree. Yeah. For me to be in the middle of my, we- literally, I'm in the middle of my wedding and everyone's like, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God, looking at me. And then we're, oh no, it's over there. What? Oh, he's getting down on a knee. Oh shit. Oh. Like what uh-huh. the, and here's the thing. I'm always so like pro like sharing experiences. And maybe that's why I'm so like, I don't want that. Like, that just I just don't want to share that. Like no. like you well, said, you just it's don't either need to. it's either the wedding or the funeral that I'm we were being celebrated, babes. I'm not sharing that. Yeah. Right. Mom, um, get him. I lo- <laughs> get right. Him. <laughs> right. I just think it's rude and I think it's tacky. Yeah. It's tacky. Like you that took, is poor you taste, took, poor taste. It's poor taste. You took this you took my moment of this celebration to do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't do it. Yeah, if you're not asked by the people, <laughs> you're yeah, right. It just seems a little rude. Yeah, but good point, Sierra said. If they ask you, I'd be like, "Well, I never thought of it. I mean, I don't right. think I still would, but it's yeah, nice yeah. that you offer." And also, I would not because I also want my own moment. Yes, don't true. you want your own moment? Where did he propose to you? Oh, at so and so's wedding. Right. Yeah. Right. And also, yeah. that moment's gonna last like how cute and fun. But like, we're at my wedding, so. You're going to have your moment and it's going to be over and we're going to get back to me anyway. And, and I'm going to announce my pregnancy at your wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that part. Yeah. That part. I'll tell you, at my little brother's wedding last year, my sister-in-law, my older brother, was pregnant. Mm. And she was, I think, like 15 or 16 weeks. 
but she hadn't like so she like everyone close to her knew and it wasn't like it was a secret but she hadn't like told the extended family you know yeah yeah and and she like she doesn't she posts on social media like once Mm -hmm. a year so Mm -hmm. it wasn't like you know and my dad was like at the reception i was sitting with my sister-in-law my my older sister-in-law my dad was like oh oh while you're here like come tell my aunts that you're pregnant like they're here and i literally was like dad no Mm. absolutely he wasn't he didn't even of course and he's like well when are we gonna see them again not till the baby is here and i'm like that's not like that's that's not a reason to do it like Uh uh uh-huh and i and he's like well austin and bethany won't care like they're not like that i'm like yeah but just don't do it Mm -hmm. like please just don't do it and he was like oh he i think he kind of thought i was being dramatic right right Right. you know like okay so you're whatever yeah but i was like no but you but you get it you're like i just yeah yeah. and i didn't want my my sister-in-law to feel like pressured by my dad either because that's the other thing like that's her father-in-law right right so i stepped in i'm like Dad, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no. Daddy, no, please. <laughs> Dude, my dad and I got into a big fight wedding planning. Really? Yeah. Really? Big fight about. What happened? The, um, I'm like, it was the flowers, wasn't it? <laughs> it was the seating chart. Mm. Oh. And I feel like the seating chart is typically a source of drama. Okay. You know, like right. I said, seating chart, guest list. Guest list. Mm-hmm. But my dad and I almost always can have like a like a back and forth Mm. like we love to debate each other on like all sorts of things like and we usually stay very very like calm right this was not one of those situations (laughs) oh my goodness and i don't know if i've ever i may have told this story i may not have this is what i was talking about with like i have this digital footprint that i forget right right (laughs) um but i don't think i ever told this story jess is shaking her head i don't you don't know it I've never heard it on podcast or anything else. That doesn't mean it's not there. But I've also never personally heard you tell the story. And okay. I feel like I'm the vault of yes. right. what's been <laughs> it's, said. It's, yes. it's Kenzie than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like so interested. I'm like, did what, did your dad want to specifically sit next to someone? Or he was like, these people, I, I need know. to know. So we spent hours in front of the TV with my like computer screen sharing doing the seating chart. And this is just a couple weeks before the wedding. We had already, you know, had some back and forth about the guest list with many members of our families. Mm -hmm. Um, We'd gotten to a good point with that, you know, made some compromises, held some boundaries. So now we're doing the seating chart. And there's always things to figure out with that of like, okay, these people don't like each other. These people are probably going to argue if we put them next to each other. We don't want this person to be alone. You know, you're figuring out all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So after hours of deliberating, we have it perfect. Mm. And we also have it that our guest tables are intermingled from the sides of the family. So it's not like all Steven's family on one side, all of mine. Because it's right. fun to have, you know, right. for sure. them mixed up. But it was um, all of my family was even numbered tables. Okay. And all of Steven's family was odd numbered tables. So it was a really nice, easy way to track it. We get it right. My dad goes, I would like to be table one. And I'm like, well, you're table two. Right. And he's like, no, no. I would like to be table number one. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because, and my parents were paying for, you know, a good chunk of the wedding. He's like, because we are hosting it and I would like to be table one. And I lost it. I was like, your ego is so big that you care about an effing table number. And I, if you could just swallow your pride for one second and like sit your ass down. And I was like mad. I was going off on him ah. that he was just the most pompous guy to ever exist. You need an ego check. Yep. <laughs> it's the same table. And he's like, oh, then just, God. he's like, and he was pretty calm. Right. But he was like, <laughs> right. Then just change the number. He's like, you don't have to move my table. Just change the number. I'm like, and mess with my odd and even. <laughs> and he's like, look, I uh-huh. haven't asked for much. I feel I don't need to give a reason. I want to be table one. <laughs> Steven so is sitting on the couch like right give him give the man table oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. so I finally I I get up and I'm like whatever you can be table number one and hopefully we'll have to put an extra seat for your big ass ego <laughs> I was so <laughs> mad so we made him table one and didn't change any of the other table numbers. <laughs> so he there's was a two. Number one. He was number one. Were there two table ones? No. So the uh, the table one was moved to table two, okay. even though it was Steven's family, and right. the rest of them were odd numbers. Right. So I'm screaming at Sierra, like losing her whole mind, and then her dad being like, 
Okay, well, I just want this. So he's yeah. like, and, and but it's so like, I don't know. I want it. I want yeah. table one. That yeah. was totally yeah. really no rhyme know. or reason. You're just like, dude. Yeah, like, I was like, I just want to see honestly how how much I'll get. Right. Much I'll get. You know when kids like just see. Just totally see. try to see how much they can get away with. So yeah. funny because you and Wes are both pretty calm, even when you're arguing. Oh yeah, especially in a family setting. I feel like totally. Like I don't think I've ever yelled at my dad like that. You should try it. It's fun. It, yeah, <laughs> honestly. Well, and and that was like you know I I was so frustrated because we had you know there had been genuine things of people they wanted invited or people that I didn't want to bring, mm-hmm. and we had reached compromises on them. Things that honestly warranted more being upset right Right. and it was like this is where you draw the line right table one and also we could have made it that way from the beginning if that's what you wanted right we could have had your family as the odd numbers yeah quick question for Mm you um (laughs) i'm all angry now (laughs) i I was like i was like allow me to clarify because sometimes maybe the number does matter at tables because that's how they excuse people to go to get food right so i'm like was your dad like I want to be table one so I can at least see the so I could the eat spread first. first. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, I, I would try to be on the lo- closer tables to be going first. If that was it, he didn't say it because it was exactly like you said. It was one of those things of like, I don't know. I just want it. Right. And you're like, well, you're like, How I'm about- like, well, don't. Right. <laughs> Damn, but then not when he that. pulled the card of like, you know what? And he had not pulled that the whole wedding planning process. The card of like, you know what? We're paying a lot of money to help right. you guys have this wedding. And I want to be table one. Right. All right. And at that point, what do you even say? I mean, well, you said what you said. Right. Yeah. I told him he needs an extra cheer for, for his ego. ego. For his ego. <laughs> and you know what? Going to keep that one in the back pocket. I am yeah. too. <laughs> that, did you provide the chair? No, I was not that petty. I, but I still did. We still bring up that argument. That No, that's hysterical. I know, that's like, that's an iconic family argument, I yeah. feel like. And he stands by it. He's Good. like, yeah, and it was worth it because I got to be table one. He just wanted to. He yeah. was like, I, he's like, honestly, I, I don't see myself complaining at all. So I'm probably just going to do this for funsies right totally. now. Right. <laughs> he's like, it's been pretty chill. And I'm just going to ruffle some shit up right now. Yeah. 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 He's, like, he's like, you guys want to see Sierra get super yeah, like, yeah. excited yeah. Totally. to get a reaction? Oh, dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. yeah, yeah. Wes is like, watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sierra, I want to be table one. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. <laughs> totally. So that was the biggest argument I got in about wedding planning. There were other things here and there, but that was the one where I just lost my cool. I just thought about Bridezilla's, like the TV show. Oh. I loved Bridezilla's. Yeah. I was like, this is crazy. But now that I'm older, I'm like, some of that shit was fair. You guys were not like listening to what she was saying, and she was really trying to like get into it and you guys were just making it about yourselves or like not like listening to her or whatever. But other times the bride was in the wrong. Oh, absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. Or like would just start like freaking out about like the cake and stuff. And like, I know, I guess the cake is important. Obviously it's all important, but yeah. Yeah. I feel like you just have to choose your battles sometimes with shit like that. You got to pick your battles. You can't fixate on every detail. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was a fairly chill bride, especially considering the age I got married, which was 21. And I feel like I'm a lot more chill now than I was then. Mm -hmm. But I look back and I'm like, I feel like I wasn't a bridezilla. I feel like I was pretty chill, except for yelling at my dad. But like, I, it's funny with weddings because I do feel like there already is this kind of idea of like, oh, like watch out for her. Right. And I hate the concept of like, Oh, she's dragging him down the aisle. Like, yeah. right. he's so reluctant. It's right. like, this is a partnership. He asked me. He proposed, me. he yeah. asked me. The yeah. fuck are you also, talking about? we're not really hearing a lot about, like, a male, bright, like, the groom Zilla. Right. I was at a wedding yeah. recently where both the, there were people who had waited until, like, later in their 30s to get married. And then they, you know, found each other. It was really beautiful. And they... Like, we're both equally as excited and equally as invested. And I don't think either of them ever got to, like, Bridezilla levels. Mm. But it was so interesting to see a groom who was, like, just as excited about the wedding day as his wife-to-be. Yeah. Mm, Like, it was adorable in a way that I was looking forward to the wedding. It was going to be a good time. And there were going to be, like, nice people there. But I didn't know them super well. It was uh, one as a plus one. And by Mm -hmm. the end, I was like, no, I ship it. Like, I walked in excited to, like, be here. But I left being like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dude, that's one of the things I love about weddings is just like when you see a couple that's so in love, so in love. Yeah. I talk about this all the time, but I think the most beautiful, like love-filled wedding I've ever witnessed and probably will ever witness was our editor, Rachel, Mm. and Mario, her husband. Steven sobbed, like like let out like a... (gasps) Like, oh, dear, like, oh my God. sobbed 
Uh, there was not a dry eye in the house. Oh, their vows were so beautiful. And oh. I feel like sometimes when you, you write your own vows, it gets into the territory of like a comedy show. Yeah. Or like we're performing like for yeah. the crowd instead of like actual promises. These were mm-hmm. like real promises. He uh, composed the music that she walked to. Shut up. It was so clearly Ugh. a union of two people who loved each other so much that there was no other option but to get married. Right. Instead of like, it's time. We've been together. Right. Yeah. Let's get married. It was, God, it was so beautiful. I cried so much. And she and him just seemed so happy to be there. And Aww. I I, I love weddings. I yeah. love it for that. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know when you when you see them and they just are so in love and you're like, God, like this is beautiful and so supposed to be happening right now. It's so pure too, like mm-hmm. just Yo, those yeah. two people standing up there and like promising themselves to the person that they yeah. love and just like I uh, cry every ceremony. I don't think I've ever made it through a ceremony where I don't. So also good luck to me. What like even going down the aisle? Like I think I've we've we've, we've talked about we've this. talked about it so much because obviously we see how I am. So I'm yeah, like I, sedate we, me. We, yeah, we don't <laughs> blindfold yeah, me. I don't ship know me. what to do. I, I I really don't know if we're gonna be able. I, I don't know What's what to the do. Plan? Yeah, I, I don't think, know. I think you said we're gonna have to wear falsies because Paloma, you'll definitely get mascara all over your face. Yeah, so like so that's for it's sure. It's giving like we need to have the makeup person there the whole night on site. I feel like I think maybe camouflage like behind like a bush yeah yeah so that she can like stealthily come out <laughs> no, and you know rest is a bush shit. right yes, yeah, yes, the bush. yes right right, yeah. right right just comes out to because t- 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 it's gonna be a mess you're just gonna look cracked in all your what? photos like I don't know I'm supposed to look at my husband in the in the eyes <laughs> seeing him up there in love yeah. with me oh god oh even you just saying that I'm like yeah, Ryan, I know I good Ryan, luck I'm so good Ryan, luck like, what the fuck and then, oh, let's take a moment and take a look at everyone here. I'd be like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't so know. So sedation, perhaps. I don't know. I And I also told myself, maybe it's going to have to be like, I have to like click myself into like show mode where I'm like, mm-hmm. this is a perform like just right. for part of it. So just you can so you get can... through it emotionally. Like right. you have like save yourself until maybe like vows. And then if you really feel like you need to let it <laughs> yeah, go, and like then that's just the like, moment. And then get Honestly, touch up makeup and then do photos again. Because after the, you say I do's, there's photos, right? Yeah. Well, you can do it however you want, oh, right? Maybe. It's like some people do a first look. Okay. So they see their partner before the ceremony mm-hmm. and do a bunch of pictures before. Okay. Some people, like what I did was Stephen and I walked down the aisle, saw each other for the first time. And then during cocktail hour, we did photos. Okay. But, that right. seemed, I feel like that seems best because I don't know if I want to do the first look without like that moment. I want that moment. I want to bring I that felt. man to my knees. <laughs> <laughs> I want tears. Yeah. How are you going to get through your vows? I have no idea. You can that's, do them privately. I, that's, I, and I think yeah, that yeah, might be was, what yeah. I will do. We didn't do um, personalized vows at the ceremony. We wrote each other letters. Mm. Um, and then we like talked through our vows on our honeymoon privately. And I liked that because I'm also a pretty emotional person. And um, I was emotional enough getting through like the standard vows right yeah. like yeah. The, to have and to hold and all that yeah. shit yeah and also what i didn't know is like there's different versions oh. like our officiant gave us like six options and honestly oh. they varied in like level of tradition and level of like religion you know mm. sprinkled in right so it was like you could have one that was like and before god and everyone i promise to serve my husband as the lord intended or you could have like totally secular <laughs> the right, right, lord yeah. intended. so like right. you can and you can Mix and match, <laughs> right? right. right. Find like, your flavor. Or there's that. one that to have and to hold. Yeah, yeah. I promise to serve. Okay, <laughs> right. I promise to serve. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Like, and will I serve? <laughs> As, on the note of vows, specifically with uh the male folk, I've been seeing on TikTok, like I mentioned before, taking time to make it a little bit of a comedy show, mm. and do it for the for the gig for the laughs and the shits and gigs. And it not being so well received. Mm. Have you seen that one? I think we've seen the same one. It was the one that got kind of vulgar. Definitely. And demeaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. in the middle of vows. Uh-huh. That, it was the vows. That the, was vows the vows were like, he was like, oh, yeah, I love blah, 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 blah. And then was like, it like, basically, this is not quoted. I don't know what the fuck he said, but it was like, can't wait to like lock you down, like, like lock it in, whatever, get married so that I basically go to pound town. It basically is what this man said. Honestly, that was more like Chill. subdued than yeah. his. One of it was like, in was front like, of I, everyone. I yeah. promise to mic. smack ass every chance I get, like in front of her entire family. And then it went downhill from there. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, ha ha. And everybody was like, 
I'm already stressed about like kissing in front of like grandma and grandpa and everybody. What do, my man doing saying that I simply would have picked up my dress and turned. I'm the like, you know what, sir? This is the this been real. Was like, yeah. Oh, oh my god, it was. Very... I think I would walk back down. I would. Yeah, I, I would be got, like, actually, you know what? I'm I've glad got I somewhere to be. Yeah, I've got because... somewhere to be. Yeah, <laughs> that's Let's just tough. Wrap this shit up. That's tough. It's embarrassing. And 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 we didn't even talk about like when it gets so late in the party when everyone starts getting drunk and then people start getting a little crazy. Yeah. Like he, that person might have been sober, you know, like by that point because it's still early. I mean, maybe. I hope not. I hope. I that hope person... that wasn't a sober decision. That was right. Made. Yeah. Because... But those were the vows that were written. So. Mm. He probably so was sober. He wrote it. that. Right, right, right. right. I forgot they were written down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't save him. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, we try, He's but you just... Saving. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in terms of drinking at the wedding, my philosophy was I want everyone else to get drunk mm-hmm. and ha- at whatever level they feel comfortable, preferably not passing into sloppy territory. Right. But get drunk, enjoy it. I would like to remember this. Yes. Right. And what was helpful with that is Stephen and I had talked about it before and we both had that idea and we had that idea about our rehearsal dinner too Mm -hmm. and our rehearsal dinner was at a winery and we didn't quite realize how much we had been drinking and my Um, mom drove us there and so uh then she dropped us off back at home right we got home and we're like oh shit we're drunk (laughs) we're drunk (laughs) right and it was kind of a like and we it wasn't intentional it's just you know everyone is wanting to bring you drinks right and And you're just and you're there for a minute yeah and And a taste of this a taste of that i've had a bottle now totally so that night and the next morning we both were like okay now we see how quickly we can accidentally get drunk Mm -hmm. and so let's be really intentional about not and so at my wedding i had like a mimosa in the morning with my girls and then i had two drinks uh, a drink with dinner and a drink at like dancing yeah that was perfect i had like a nice little buzz but Mm -hmm. i was fully aware yeah i remember everything um, and Steven was the same, I think. And we both felt like we really remembered it and enjoyed yeah. it. Mm-hmm. That being said, I wanted everyone else to like get as lit as possible. Yeah. Right. I, I think uh, the goal will be like, okay, and w- I want to put on a wedding when I can like afford open bar. Like yep. that is so important to me <clears throat> yeah. to make sure that everyone's having a good time. And if Agreed. you go to wedding, sometimes it's not open bar. It obviously like the party just like gets cut in half. Yeah, the party, or, like the yeah, vibe's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, what's going to be covered, but there will be open bar and the music will be popping. Yep. Yes. That's yep. like so important for the second half, right? Oh, yeah. No, agree. I mean, we just spent the first half crying and like being so beautiful and lovely. Now let's celebrate. Yeah. yeah. That would be uh, yeah. so fun. So fun. So funny. One of I'll just say one of our attendees, mm, okay. one of our att- young attendees around my age got super drunk at mm-hmm, the wedding mm-hmm. and then we had a donut wall but he missed the donut wall because he was on the dance floor so he started walking around and eating the donuts off other people's plates that they had left oh oh and then his mom was like what are you like what are you doing right and he's like don't worry mom these are classy people they don't want their donuts and she's like right i think you're too drunk and i think you should stop and he was like freshly 21 and he goes mom mom he was in college don't worry I know exactly how much I can drink before I throw up. And she's like, I don't know if I should be proud of that. Right. Or if that makes me worried because you do this often. Right. <laughs> and that was like one of my favorite stories. From, I love that. I love, I love the like drunk debauchery of everyone having fun. Like, yeah. Right. Night. Yeah. I welcome it. I just didn't want to be there for my own wedding. Right. right. And that's fair. So fair. I'm like, I need to be present. Gotta be no, here, but truly. also just like a light buzz. Like yeah, you said, gotta be a here. cocktail. Like Honestly, I feel like I'd like towards the end of like, the reception maybe like halfway i'd probably pop an eddie right then <laughs> because then i could still be here but i'm like chilling and yeah. I'm probably, i probably was stressed all damn day my feet probably hurt so i'm like you know let's just vibe and you know what at one o'clock i have in and out scheduled to come by so oh, hell this yeah this is a good time to take it hell yeah <laughs> i've heard of people having weed bars at their i wedding. love that you oh. know what maybe that's the vibe maybe that's the vibe that would set the vibe that, that, and, the, that and a taco guy dude Shoo! everybody just like <laughs> yeah vibing on the dance floor yeah well the food has to be popping if everybody's gonna get high yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah right <laughs> we gotta have food oh my gosh grandma take this chocolate real quick right <laughs> yeah honestly that might be like the the bring it back down to earth that everyone needs yeah you know like just say hey, yeah it's all fine let's just chill don't sweat the small stuff yeah <laughs> let's hug each other <laughs> why are we here again love is yeah. love, love, is love. <laughs> um but yeah i i think weddings are so fun but it is like it's just the drama and the nitty gritty and all the rules and the details. Yeah. Yeah. It can 
can definitely be a stressful for everybody involved. Yeah. yeah. Wedding party, guests, mm-hmm. the bride and groom, the everybody. It's just. Yeah. And wedding season's coming, baby. Wedding <laughs> season is among <laughs> us. <laughs> yes. So if you have any tips, tricks, stories you want to tell us, let us know. Drop those in the comments below. We will we will be reading these because, like I said, weddings are among us. Yes. Please. And Please. Uh, any wedding hot takes. Ooh, mm. yes. Yeah, I, uh, oh, you know what's one that I meant to share earlier that I didn't? I feel like there's a weird pressure for your wedding to not look like when it happened. Like, for it to be timeless. Huh. You know, people are like, don't do this at your wedding because it'll date it. Or like, oh, oh I've never no. heard that. No. Yeah, yeah. No. I, my wedding, so 2017. You know why? Because I got married in 2017. Right. right. And my mom's wedding was so 80s. Right. Because she got married in the 80s. And well, right. how do puppy, you... Puffy sleeves. How do you make it not look Style, like that? Style, probably. Like, well, yeah, but timeless? Like, the, that doesn't... Like, stuff ages. Like, yeah. What, yeah. what looks good now is not... It's not... How totally. do you... Totally. So how do you even do that? There's just such a pressure, I feel like, about it for dresses and trends and, like, mm. everything. People have, like, if you want your we- – your wedding has to be timeless or it's going to be dated and this. It's like, yeah, it's going to be dated. Well, yeah, because, yeah. It was a date. Right. So that's my last wedding hot take. <laughs> let your wedding be dated. If you're getting married in the year 2024, let it be 2024. Yeah. 2024. I almost wore a flower crown at my wedding and I didn't. <gasps> Oh, well, that would have been that so, would have made it so so much more 2017. Oh, yeah, but like it's you. probably better that you did. It, it is better than I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, before we send you guys <laughs> off, let's hear a little bit from our Woo Girl moment. Yes, this one is from the comments of a video. Woo Girl moment. I'm finally leaving a job that I have absolutely hated and has made me become so depressed, taking oh. my mental health to the lowest it's ever been. But I did the job for money and it helped pay the bills. But now, after moving in with my best friend for a while just to regroup, I'm moving away from this job's location so officially quitting i don't have a new job lined up but so happy to work on my mental health now after quitting this role it's time to focus on me again this year let's give a woo for that Woo! Woo! absolutely quitting a job that's tanking your mental health inspiring Big honestly win. and moving in with your best friend i'm jealous i'm jealous of you <laughs> yeah <laughs> but also acknowledging that that job served you in a way at the time because you needed a job to pay the bills and get right. you through right yeah. and that's okay too and yeah. now it's time yep. to focus on you and find yourself a safe space yep. and good for that mental health. Yes. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This was really fun, you guys. Yes. Make sure you are subscribed here on YouTube, following us on TikTok and Instagram. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.